rumor has it, rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I am gossiping. This is the rumor report. I mean, I guess we on the breakfast club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. Now, Ice Spice is going to be performing that Saturday night live with Pete Davidson as the host. Now, she'll be the first musical guest to host Saturday Night Live following the recent Writers Guild of America and Screen Actors Guild strike. So That's she's right. going to be performing. And then following that episode, I believe uh, Bad Bunny is going to be uh, doing the next one after that. He'll be hosting and performing Bad Bunny. Yeah, October 14th, uh, Pete will be hosting mm-hmm. SNL. That's why you, you know don't listen to the internet. But nobody cares about the truth and the lie is more entertaining. So y'all will still say something wrong with Pete. Right. <laughs> right. Now, uh, we got to talk about Bow Wow. He was trending yesterday. That's because former 106 and Park host Keisha Shante revealed that her and Bow Wow had beef. And she said it stemmed because Bow Wow uh, invited her to the hotel room and she wouldn't go, allegedly. He hazed me in the beginning. We were both signed to Sony Urban. Yeah. He saw my poster at, in the building in New York City and he was like, I want this girl in my music video for mm-hmm. Shorty Like Mine. He was like, hey, I want to like invite you to yeah. be my lead girl. And I was like, oh my God, I would love to. So my team flew me out to LA. Mm-hmm. We had a whole team meeting. He showed up all like, what's up? Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. no, oh, he was putting on. And then he asked me like, oh, you want to come by the hotel? Da, da, da. Yeah. And I'm like, no. The day of, I show up. Angela Simmons has a trailer. Keisha Chante has a trailer, and I'm like, okay. So I go into my trailer, my team shows up. We have bad news. Bao doesn't want you to be the lead girl of Shorty Like Mine anymore. He brought in Angela Simmons. But what I didn't realize is that Chris Brown's trailer was yeah. there, and he was there, and he was like, what's going on? I'm like, Bao's trying to kick me out of this video. He's yeah. like, well, you'll be my lead girl then. We don't need Bao. Yeah, well, she talks about how that beef started, and even when she was on 106 and Park, it was a little crazy, and then she said Drake stepped in, because I guess she, she grew up with Drake, and... Drake put in a good word for. 106 and Park happened. They told Bao the day I was showing up that yeah. I was the new host. So we did a couple shows. I don't think they aired. It was just mm-hmm. kind of like rehearsals mm-hmm. and stuff. And he just kept hazing me. Teleprompter would come up. He would say my line yeah. or mess up his line or pause and be like, no, it's your turn. And it's not my turn. And I got to set and Aubrey was the guest that they were interviewing. We did our segment, me and him. And then Aubrey's the one mm-hmm. that co-signed me to Bao. Yeah. It was like, no, like... She's cool. Yeah, like, that's, like, yeah. yeah. So he gave Bow the okey-doke, and then Bow was nice to me after that. Mm. Well, Bow Wow talks about it. said, it didn't happen like that. This, it was totally different. First and foremost, I just spoke to Keisha two days ago. I speak to Keisha all the time. I picked the phone, I called her, we spoke. Definitely, definitely, definitely banged it on her, though. Like, where's this energy coming from? <clears throat> like, let's, let's, if we're going to tell the truth, let's tell the truth. Like, the reason why you wasn't the main girl in the short of, like, mom video was because... At the time, I felt like Sony was using me and my platform to blast off a new artist on the label. And they were forcing her into the video, make her to, like, no, you, you, it don't work like that. I wanted, at the time, I wanted a, a, an individual, a certain individual to, to do that. Why? Because I knew the person and it was just the right thing to do. Well, uh, she reposted, just got, got off the phone with Bao. It was the first time we got a chance to speak about this, and I'm glad we were able to clear up the misunderstanding. The only reason I reported it is because it was viral. They were talking about the things that they did, but they actually squashed the You reported the beef. it because you wanted to report it. Nah, because it was and viral. And I'm going to tell you something. I oh. really miss Jess Hilarious right Me now. Me too. I wish Lauren LaRosa La wasn't here to report that story. Me too. Because hearing you report that story, feels like I'm getting a hug from the back of the puffy party. All right? That's what it feels like. Let's try. No, we will not try it. I promise you I'll go to HR today. All right, now. Yeah, okay, watch this. I'm going I'm 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 to get off me. Get off me. Get your hands off me. Don't be hugging me from the back. What the hell? You, I look, I'm a grown-ass man. You're a big age hugging somebody from the back. You're a big beige age. Don't you be hugging me from the back, boy. Take that. Take that. See? Take that. Take that. See? That's, that's, what, that's what happened. Okay? That's why you reported that story just now. All right? And that okay. is your rumor report. Okay. That's exactly why you reported that story. All right. The People's Choice Mix is up next. Get you requested in uh, 800-585-1051. I remind you guys, tomorrow on the show, uh, Kirk Franklin is going to be joining us and also Stephen A. Smith. Good, because you need prayer. <laughs> you shut up, man. Make Kirk pray for you. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him bring some holy water in here. Yeah, shut okay? up. Okay, breakfast stomp. Breakfast club, good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.